Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel where today I'm going to be doing a bit of a gaming test between my 65 inch Samsung Q90R and my 65 inch LG B8 OLED. Now the way I've got it set up is that I've got a splitter here which uh, obviously sends the signal to both the uh, OLED and the QLED. Up top is the uh, Samsung Q90R QLED TV and bottom is the LG OLED B8. Now um, what I will say is about this folks, I have had a bit of a problem today getting um, HDR to work. Don't know why that is, but I'm still going to do this one today anyway with the hope that in the next video I can get the HDR working. Uh, but for now, it's just going to be a uh, sort of regular dynamic range. And I have had a bit of a problem with getting online with some of these games because so many people are at home. Um, obviously, it's a bit sort of crowded online. So, yeah, having a bit of a problem accessing some of those games. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out that I am in no way a professional or anything like that. Uh, this is all being shot in my own home. Both of these TVs are owned by myself. And uh, all I'd say is please be respectful for the way that I've got this set up. You know, I've tried my hardest to get the TVs as close as I can together. I can't put them side to side. I won't go into details, but it can't be done really. So this is the best that I could do. Um, you know, I'm limited what uh, with what I can do with my camera equipment. So I will adjust the um, sort of image on the camera as I go through the video, just to sort of uh, make it as accurate as I possibly can to what I am actually seeing with my eyes. Now, one final thing, and that is that I'd ask everyone out there to be respectful because over the last few days, um, I've had some pretty abusive messages from people uh, being quite disrespectful and that. And uh, anyone like that, quite frankly, I'm not dealing with anymore. You're going to be just banned off and message will be deleted off. So, uh, yeah, please just respect that. And uh, in the past, I have had problems before when it comes to gaming videos where people have been abusive to me and even towards my family with threats and things like that because people have not agreed with the console that I'm using or the TV or the game choice. Um, so again, just please be respectful and I'll be respectful back to you. And, you know, I'm always open to, uh, you know, suggestions of what to do so you know if you've got a suggestion then you know feel free to leave a comment and you know the uh, most popular ones are see if I can uh, fulfill those and uh, yeah just uh, please enjoy the video. So apologies for having to say that to all you decent members of the gaming community out there and everyone else for that matter and uh, let's uh, crack on with this testing and the two games that we're going to try out today are Red Dead Redemption 2 and it's the, uh, oh, which one have we got here? It is the Call of du Duty World War II. And we are off. Now uh, I'll just quickly point out that the uh, LG is in its standard pitch mode there. And the uh, Q90R is also in its standard pitch mode. So no dedicated gaming mode or anything at the moment. I'm going to keep it on this wide angle for a little bit because uh, the other uh, view is a bit closer and not as good. So straight away from what I'm seeing, um, I think the bottom one looks um, better in my opinion. Uh, just has a bit more richness to it. The uh, the top one being the QLED has sort of a uh, like a, almost like a mistiness to it um, compared to the OLED. Now this may change when I change it to say like dynamic, but just on the standard mode, um, as you can see, well I think it's pretty obvious really. That um, it's a bit, you know, a bit more rich looking on the bottom, and uh, my son, who I've got here playing the game with me, has uh, also agreed when we've been having a little mess around earlier. 
didn't we? That, uh, which one did you think looked better I and why? I think the OLED because um, when you have like the white... The, the white was a lot whiter and brighter. White. Yeah. So yeah, when we had some of the loading screens and things and it was just a, you know, like a, a white spinning logo or something like that in various games, it was just a lot more brighter and punchier. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot more rich looking, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's coming from me son here. You know, he's not bothered either way. He's got no loyalty to any brand or anything like that. But you know, this is, it's all horses for courses sort of thing. It's whatever you want. Um, and but it is strange because the the Q90R is generally meant to be a brighter TV, but in real world use, quite often lot of lot of scenes, it's the OLED scene brighter, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's a bit strange. So I'll uh, just move round and show you sort of what the reflections are like on both. I know this isn't sort of gaming as such, but you know, a lot of you guys want to know what it's like sort of with these TVs with reflections. Now I did have complaints before about that I had the OLED at the top and the QLED down the bottom, it wasn't fair. Now I've got them around this way. Uh, like I said, you know, I can't do it both ways, unfortunately. So this is the way it is at the moment. So both doing, yeah, not a bad job. You've got the uh, QLED there, it looks a bit like pinky. When on the reflections and is slightly uh, sort of more reflective on the OLED, you know, it hasn't got that pink hue as much, but it is there a little bit. Let's just have a look at sort of go around the other side here, look at viewing angles. And I'll tell you what we're even doing. We're swapped between the sound on both of these TVs. So let's turn down the, uh, the Samsung. Turn up the OLED. Let's go a little bit closer. See, to me, that looks really rich looking. So I sort of just go up and down between the two. Sorry if it's a little bit annoying, but it's sort of the... Uh, easiest way to show it really we would have liked to have gone online with the new call of duty but it's just saying there's problems with the service at the moment just due to the amount of traffic on it so maybe we'll try that out tomorrow i mean don't get me wrong the uh, q90r is an amazing tv and uh, I don't think you'd be disappointed with either. And I think the truth of the matter is, if you didn't have an OLED next to it, you know, you'd be blown away with the QLED, to be honest. I hope that's coming across and camera. I think I've got it set up really well at the moment that you can see sort of like that extra richness there. Now, like I said, this may change in a minute when I uh, change the picture settings. And it is a bit of a shame that I can't get HDR working at the mo moment, um, but I will look to get that sorted out for the next video. So let's go down a bit lower, a bit tighter there. So QLED there, uh, sorry, OLED there. Back up to the uh, QLED at the top. I'm getting confused myself which one's which here with the names. It's uh, just going a bit tighter now with these shots. And you know, that does look really, really nice on the uh, QLED. Let's move back down to the OLED there. And what we do now, we're uh, Turn down the OLED, turn up the QLED, and let's try actually as well whilst we're at it, let's uh, change the picture modes. So what we'll do now is we will go to um, the game mode. Again, if I get this wrong, you know, please don't bite me head off um, if I'm not doing the right sort of settings you know just be polite and uh 
let me know what I can adjust and you know I'll try and sort that out for the uh, next video so that's game mode now on both just want to point out this is a 2018 model so this isn't you know the the uh, the latest model by far but i have just had a brand new panel fit to it uh, that was because i had a few dead pixels on the old one um but yeah so you know it is strange that you know the qled which is meant to be the all singing all dancing when it comes to brightness seems to be doing a uh not as good job when it comes to the brightness as the OLED. Um, why this is, I've got no idea. But I, like I said, this is just sort of those standard modes, you know, your game mode, your standard mode as such. You know, not fiddling around with the settings. Yes, I could maybe up and down things to suit the uh, sort of brightness levels, or whatever. But you know, I'm just doing it out of the box now, and uh, maybe in another video, you know, I sort of bump things up even further to sort of emphasize stuff if you guys want. Right, I think what we'll do now is uh, fire up a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. Right, and we are off with Red Dead Redemption 2. And how mental does that look? That looks absolutely wicked. Seeing both of those stunning TVs there lit up nice and bright. So I don't know if you can see that, that, you know, the, the black at the bottom just looks, again, a bit more richer. See, this is a prime example. Look how much whiter the whites look as opposed to up the top. Again, the QLED's meant to be brighter, but in situations like that, it's actually worse. Um, on that, it seems to be doing not a bad job, but with my own eyes, just round here, um, like a little bit of blooming as such. Uh, it's not coming across very well on camera because I've set it a little bit dark at the moment. But anyway, let's uh, fire up the game. And oh yeah, we have put it now back to the standard picture settings. As you can see, slightly uh, different colour temperature uh, coming through there. Again, I'll just ask me, son, now, which one do you think looks better at the moment uh, on this? The LG OLED, because like, the bottom so, one looks like it's being, it's like, it sounds like a picture, and the top one looks like it's being pen painted. Yeah, so basically you, you're saying the bottom one looks real yeah. to you. Yeah, right. Again, there you go. That's coming from your son. He's not bothered, like I said, either way. You know, we own both TVs. It makes no difference to us, you know. We're not being paid by anyone to say this, you know. We're just giving you our uh, open and honest opinion with, uh, you know, what we're seeing with our own eyes, you know. I'll gladly open up my uh, front door to anyone who wants to come in and see him for themselves. Do you know what I mean? I've got nothing to hide. You know, a lot of people think, you know, sort of I'm being biased because I do like the, the OLED. But it's the fact is... You know, what I see, it looks better on the OLED at the end of the day. That's just my personal opinion. Other people prefer the QLED and, you know, that's perfectly fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with having, you know, your own opinion. It'd be a bit of a boring world, you know, if we all like the same things. Again, just to point out, can you see how much brighter that is at the bottom there? And look at it on the top there. Completely different because I'm guessing what's happening is, is that the uh, QLED is uh, having to sort of dull down the, the backlight so it doesn't um, get too much blooming where the QLED doesn't have to do that. It can pump its full brightness through whilst turning everything else off. So this is a really nice example here. So we've got these streams of light coming through. Looks really good um, on both and it'll look even better with HDR. Um, but still, you know, looks good on both screens. Uh, Nonetheless, again, that light coming through there, cool, that looks really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can uh, see that there, the intensity of the light, the sort of like bouncing back now onto the screen. So yeah, move around a bit, mate. Let's uh, have a look. So, so go in a little bit closer. Just have a look. So looking at the Samsung at the moment, And then down the bottom to the OLED. And you can uh, really see that sort of temperature difference there. I'd say what I'm seeing with my own eyes, the QLED looks a bit sort of more blue, uh, sorry, a bit more sort of pinky and the uh, 
the OLED a little bit more bluish than if you guys would agree with that. Again, just trying to be as honest as I can here. But I got, you know, I got to say, I'm, you know, very fortunate that I've got both of these TVs. Um, just a quick shout out to the guys at box.co.uk who hooked me up with the uh, Samsung. They did give me the opportunity to uh, have another OLED, but I decided that I want a QLED um, because I thought it'd make some interesting uh, material for you guys shooting the two different sort of TVs and that. And I can give you know a, a decent real world sort of opinion on what they're like, you know, through the ownership of the. Uh, the QLED there because you know I'm going to have this for some time now. Let's just go to some extreme angles here. And uh, in all fairness, angle wise, that uh, Q90R is doing a very good job. You know, you can't knock it for that. That is one thing, you know, when it comes to sort of a uh, LCD screen, the viewing angles are very, very good on it. So let's have a look at that motion in a bit more closer detail. So move about a bit there, mate. So that's it, see what it's like. And both doing, I'd say, a very good job, to be honest. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, change it to game mode. Now, both are on game mode. I'll just uh, prove it to you guys, make sure I'm not lying there. So yeah, game mode there and uh, on the Samsung, as you can see, game mode as well. Now, one thing I am noticing is um, that on the OLED, now I've turned game mode on, it does make it look, um, it's got like a stuttery effect, right? Yeah. It, mate? It, yeah, it looks, it's like the, the frame rate's been dropped. It doesn't look very good where the Samsung is doing a far better job in the motion, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I will say that when I tried out the 2019 model, so that's the B9 and the C9, it didn't do this. So I'm guessing it's just something to do with the 2018 models, potentially just the B8, uh, and the motion handling is better when you turn game mode on, on the uh, better models and newer models. Um, people would notice this when I'd done a gaming test before with the OLED on the... Um, uh, Grand Theft Auto, a lot of people yeah. said how bad it looks, just sort of like the frame rate. Um, I don't know why it does that, it is a bit odd, but you know, if you want game mode on and it's a B8, then the Q90R is better for this. But in all fairness, that is a newer TV, this is a year older, and like I said, on the 2019 OLEDs, it doesn't have that problem. So, just something to bear in mind there. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm actually going to change them both to dynamic mode. So let's uh, change those over right now. Okay, we have both now in their dynamic modes. So I say dynamic on the OLED, it's called Vivid. Again, it's been factory reset. And uh, on the QLED, it is dynamic. So OLED is Vivid and uh, QLED dynamic. Basically, it's there, very over the top, oversaturated, over sharpened picture modes. So, you know, this is generally what you'll find on like the shop modes and things like that, where, you know, they bump everything up to the max to sort of show them off to their uh, best. Oh, and that's one other thing that I forgot to mention, which I should have said at the start. I've turned off any eco modes on both TVs so they're not being adjusted up or down to do with like the brightness levels or anything like that so they're turned off so you know they're um, sort of their standard again sort of uh, uh, brightness levels without any interruptions of you know brightness limiters uh, so, well, no not brightness limiters um, yeah eco sort of modes or whatever you want to call them you know they have their different sort of names for them and whatnot but basically uh you know they're not going to be fluctuating because of the uh lighting changes it's going a bit closer again here i'll just uh change the camera there and i would say it's made the the uh qled a little bit better wouldn't you say yeah, yeah a little bit better 
But then I'd also say I sort of bumped up the OLED a little bit as well. So maybe you could get it more on par if you had the, uh, the OLED on standard mode and then bump the uh, QLED up to its, um, was it dynamic mode did I say? I think it is, yeah. yeah. Dynamic, yeah. Ooh. So please let me uh, know what you guys think about it, about the two. What differences are you seeing? Which one do you prefer? And why do you prefer it? Always like to hear a bit of feedback. Hopefully in the next video, it will be be a bit more sort of uh, action filled because you know we get online with a bit of a uh, Call of Duty, uh, the latest one. But anyway, as far as this video goes, uh, I think we'll uh, wrap it up. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today. And like I said, if you've got any questions, and uh, suggestions for games and that, then please leave a comment below. Like I said, we'll be trying out that Xbox and more stuff on the PS4 Pro. Any game suggestions um, would really be appreciated if it was the games that are free each month of uh, both consoles. Saves me then having to shell out a bucket load of money for uh, new games that I'm probably never gonna play again. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video today, do you know what? I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you've not already subscribed, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.